Yo, what's going on guys? Shy Clips here once again, and today I see some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. Now, like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is pretty ridiculous. Oh, you alright? Got money bags. Alright, come in, yeah, help you make yourself at home. What the f are you mean spending a grand on the kids? Well, whatever money I do have, I can want to spend on my kids. Or no, what? no. Is, is it not bad enough that you've already got them on Christmas Day with your little f***y <laughs> Tracy, whatever oh, it is? Oh, no. Oh. Go to your dad's and his new girlfriend's on Christmas Day while they shower you with gifts while I'm sat here with 200 quid oh, limit. Yeah, it but... makes me look Oh, come on. And I take him to school every day, but you want to glory hunt. Yeah, look, well, I want to spend money on my kids. What's so bad about that? If I've got the money there to treat them, no, why we not? Made an agreement. Look, sometimes my work takes me away, and that's what's paying for these presents, all right? Look, and it's my own kid, and I want my money. I work hard for it. If this man has kids of his own, he's allowed to spend on them however he wants without another woman telling him how to spend it. It's his own money, and it's not hers. So she literally has no right to say how he could spend his money, especially when it comes to his kids. Money does a guy need to make in order to be with you long term? It doesn't matter. Money's not a thing to me. Yeah, I don't really care. So overall, money doesn't matter? Yeah. All right, so he's a 10, but he splits the bill on the first date. He's a um, zero. Splits the bill on the first date? Yeah. You're taking me out, you ask me out, and you ask me to split the bill? That shows me what type of man you are. Money right. money doesn't matter, though. Money doesn't matter, but it shows that you want to take me out if you pay the bill. But money money no, doesn't matter. But if we're in a relationship, I have no problem splitting the bill along the line. But in the, the first date, you're trying to show off. This is you showing off? You splitting the bill? Nah. <laughs> 10, I don't care. Yeah, one girl has a good head on her shoulders and the other one definitely doesn't. Some women take it as a good gesture for the man to pay while others really just don't mind either way. And they just prefer getting to know someone without judging them how they pay. Ready? Damn, boo, I know these pants are in style right now, but gosh dang, they are just not sexy. Daniel. You got any kids? Damn, what are we on it? You got kids? Right you said, do I got kids? I have a son. Yeah, gonna work. Fuck them kids. Yeah, this guy did the absolute right thing and just moved on. Some men be entertaining women who are just not good for them for way too long. Um, he was psycho. He fucking jumped out of a car going like 50 miles per hour. He was broke. He made me pay for his rent, his food, everything. I was at her place and she walked in. I was, I was fucking a guy. So that's basically it. She thought I was gay, but I'm not. I'm not. To be honest, everybody else had a pretty valid reason why they broke up, but this last dude, I don't know what he's on, man. If that's not gay, I'm not sure what is. Listen, I love the nigga that I'm with. That's it. On your birthday? Yeah. Was you with him? Yes, I was with him. But I love him. I can't, I can't. But why do? What do you mean by why? Because no niggas like him. I don't care. And I don't want no other nigga. I'm sorry, I can't take what this woman is saying seriously. The only reason she's recording it and posting it is because she wants other people to appreciate her. And this is just coming off as super fake to me. Yesterday, I texted the guy that I've been talking to or whatever. He was at the gym. I texted him. He didn't answer in a, you know, moderate amount of time. I blocked him. I blocked him while he was at the gym. <laughs> and he messaged me on Instagram like, you blocked me? I did. I'm sorry. I'm actually not sorry because this is out of my control. I didn't want to block you, but my period is said to block you. And for the next days, you know, just, just be careful. I really feel bad for whoever like ends up with me for the rest of my life. Cause me when that too. time of the month comes, you better just say your prayers yeah. and stay watch your mouth because yeah. you just never know like yeah. i can't yeah women like these just want a simp who's gonna cater to their every need and these women are just keeping themselves single it's not because they have higher standards they're just being absolutely ridiculous and stupid if you can't respect a man in his space you should just stay single and never date you're honestly just doing this man a huge favor ladies if you want to be treated like a queen treat your man like a king it's really that simple Example, my man is coming back from a week-long work trip. I'm on my way to the airport right now to pick him up in his truck that I got detailed for him with also flowers, breakfast, and coffee. It is really that simple. It is the little things that count. On top of loving them, respecting them, sleeping with them, 
Treat your man like a king, you'll get treated like a queen. He'll forever love you, he'll forever respect you, he won't cheat on you. Now this woman is totally different than the last clip. This woman isn't coming off as entitled at all, and she understands that if she wants to attract and keep a good man, she has to be good herself. Some women nowadays are just super entitled where they think they are deserving of it without giving any value in return. But this woman clearly shows how to give value back. <laughs> Sensational. Yeah, the only weird one is a girl recording. That was absolutely sick. I'm kids. I'm not having kids. What you mean you're not having kids? I'm not having kids. That's what you was born here to do. No, I'm not. Why would you not want to have kids? Why would well, I? I'm asking you. Why don't I want to have kids? I don't see any benefit. For bringing, for giving somebody life? You have a kid and your life becomes about the kid. I want my life to be about me. Oh, you selfish. Now, I can't judge how someone wants to live their life. If they don't want to have kids in their life, then that's their choice. But I can almost guarantee you, the moment all of her friends get pregnant and have a bunch of kids, at the age of 50 and 60, she's going to regret this. Sometimes my friends will hit me up and like want to go try new restaurants. And I always have to Google the establishments and look at their seating just to make sure that it will actually accommodate me. If I was ever flying and traveling for like a vacation or something, and I were to lose my luggage, 99% of places don't carry anything large enough to fit me there's plenty of things that i would like to do but i can't because of my weight these are things that i shouldn't be prevented from doing that i shouldn't be able to do the victim complex is just running rampant here there are steps that you can take to change this for yourself run bitch Run! yeah once again people are just super entitled and don't take any accountability for their actions the only reason you are in this position is because it's your fault why are you pushing your problem onto everybody else take accountability for your actions and lose the weight hey friend no i don't let's go find you one okay what's your type of the guy i like black guys hey, we can find you a black guy the cody from respect oh, insane no. you'll find anybody yeah what about that guy see him with the dreads the purple glasses not my type not your type all right what about those guys sitting down yeah oh, my boy oh, is this the tiktok guy my home girl Thinks you're a 10 out of 10. Rate her. Give her a solid. He do a 360. I give her a solid seven. We're matchmaking out here, bro. I see you guys exchange numbers. Just lost my phone. How about you put your phone over into her? And that dude again, the Cody Puma Rizzo. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is not love matching. This is street matching. This woman just got another body to her body count because we all know this couple is not going to last. They're not because the truth is a real person is going to stay with you based on your actions. Yeah, Diana, but here, this is the part where accountability comes in place because females hold the key to s and men hold the key to commitment and marriage. You're not going to get those things that you want in a man. If you don't operate in a sense of what that man wants in you do diana how would you know now, your own reality tells you that because they're not giving you that commitment okay ladies and gentlemen looks like diana may be leaving are you leaving diana diana Come on. I was literally almost crying about this stupid piece of garbage, and now you're basically telling me that it's Let's my talk own about fault. It's, a, it's all about taking accountability. Let's talk about it. And this is what it looks like when a woman doesn't take any accountability. She merely just runs away from her problems the moment a man tries to give her advice. And she's probably been doing this her entire life, to be honest. Sometimes these women just need to hear the hard truth without trying to run away every single time. So social media caused me to get a divorce. Like, that's dumb. That's a mistake. Let me explain my own feelings of uncertainty and unhappiness for a while. I was actually, I had thoughts on my wedding day and I thought that was just super normal. And I was in the haze of being a new mom. Um, I, I, we got pregnant very early in our relationship on purpose, which again, another story for another day, but. Congratulations. You played yourself. Yeah, I don't even need to finish the video. The fact this woman says social media got her a divorce just proves that sometimes people are always assuming they have more options out there. But the moment they get single, their options are all missing. Social media and the fear of missing out is ruining this generation. At 23, you're going to think differently from 33. You know, at, 20, at 33, it's likely that you're going to think of a few people that you said no to at 23 that were perfectly fine. Mm. And you kind of didn't because you kept thinking I can do better. And this I can and this is a perfect example of what I meant in the last clip. This generation is suffering from the fear of missing out, and they constantly feel like there is more life to experience, and they constantly have more options. But they just need to realize that social media is a complete lie. Wow, that's a pretty big rack. You gonna finish it or no? <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, I'm not sure what people were expecting. Just because Travis is a millionaire and makes a ton of money doesn't mean he can't suffer from heartbreak like everybody else. But that does wrap it up for the guys so much for watching. If you guys want more content just like this, please click links you guys see at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.